Hi everyone, welcome to Advice to Think Twice. This is, okay, Monica. <laughs> and I'm doing our week ahead readings. Welcome, welcome. I'm doing things differently this week and I'm doing individual sign readings. Tell me if you like that or if you prefer the one video with all the timestamps. But this is going to be for Aquarius, Summer Rising Venus signs. As always, these are general, so take what resonates, disregard the rest. Watch all your placements, and if you'd like to have a look at your specific situation, information on private readings is always in the description box below. Please make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much if you have. I really appreciate your support, and it helps the channel out as well. And you have other weeklies available. You have your monthlies posted, other timeless readings. You can check out. I'll link a few playlists for you at the end of the video. But, um, yeah, for now, just keep an open mind and take what resonates. Um, what else was I going to say? I think that was it. These are timeless, so whenever you feel guided to watch the video, that's when you should watch it. Technically, we're looking at the week beginning August 8th, 2022, but don't get stuck on that date. All right. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius. Someone rising Venus signs in the week ahead. Aquarius in the week ahead. The situation, the challenge, the outcome, or advice, bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. So the Four of Swords can talk about a time of pause, taking a break, maybe you're just on holiday this week. Um, this could be um, a focus on rest, sleeping, maybe some sleep issues, or sleeping too much or not enough. Um, it's a focus on healing, it could be physical healing for some of you as well. It could be an energy of truce, making peace, forgiveness. Let's see. In the situation, what do we have? We have the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. So there could be some tension, some conflict. I feel like you're being presented with a lot of different versions of the truth. Or a lot of different versions of different people's truth does that make sense and you're like i don't know what to trust i don't know who to believe you might be pulled in a lot of different directions and you're like well i don't know what to invest in you could you just could have a lot going on with the five of wands and the seven of cups and you're just taking a step back this could be external to you where you can see that people are butting heads because they're basically saying the same thing but they're not hearing each other I feel like you try to speak up, you try to get people to see eye to eye, and you just get embroiled in it. So you could be saying, you know what, never mind. When you figure it out, you come get me, I'm out, okay? But there's some tension, there's some conflict here. You're not sure. This could be a situation where someone's asking you to take sides, someone's giving you ultimatums, and you're like, I'm not even involved in this. I don't want to be involved in this, okay? Let's see, the challenge. We have temperance. Yeah, and the Nine of Cups. This is like, you might be dealing with a person or several people where the challenge is getting people to listen to each other, to get people to meet in the middle, to get people to compromise, okay? Because you're dealing with someone who wants what they want when they want it. A bit of immature energy here, really. In the outcome, we have the Knight of Cups and the Fool. So this could be someone offering to make peace. This could be someone offering to leave the past in the past. Let's start fresh. This could be going on within a couple, within a friendship dynamic, with family, I don't know, or even at work. Someone's just trying to get what they want. They're trying to give you ultimatums or put pressure on you uh, to either take their side or to do what they want you to do or to just give in to whatever. Um, or pressuring you to make a choice or pressuring you to choose them however that makes sense and I feel like the challenge is for you not to compromise okay you're not being ridiculous you're not being impossible you're not being irrational or unrealistic you're willing to meet this person in the middle but I feel like they don't want to do that they want you to just give in and you're saying no I deserve this as well I'm willing to work with you, I'm willing to meet you in the middle, I'm willing to compromise, but I'm not gonna give up on what I deserve either, okay? And 
I feel like when they see that the forceful approach doesn't work, they might make some sort of a peace offering, okay? But for some of you, I do feel like it will be too little too late with the fool. Because they will have shown you some true colors that you can't forget. For others of you, this will be a case of, okay, I accept your apology or I accept what you're offering and we're beginning a new cycle together. This could be where it's like ultimatums. You either commit to me or we're done, okay? This could be where someone struggles with keeping their options open versus committing fully with the five of wands and seven of cups. And you're sitting there thinking, listen, it's too many people involved. You either choose me or you don't. And you withdraw. You tell them what you need to say and you withdraw. And it's that action of you putting your foot down and then stepping away from the situation. Call me when you figure it out. I'll see if I take your call. That gets this person to open their eyes to the fact that, hold on, I don't want to lose Aquarius. And then they step up, they do the right thing. Okay? But for others of you, like I say, you're saying if it took that much, if I, if that's what I had to do for you to, to get you to do what you're supposed to be doing anyway, no thank you. I don't want to do this. I don't want this to be my life. And you're walking away from this situation because it's like everything's a struggle with this person. Everything's drama. Everything has to be a conflict. You can't just have a peaceful conversation of let's just meet in the middle. Let's just do this. Let's do that. What do you think? It, it, it's a struggle. Every time is a struggle. You have to put your foot down and you have to stand up for yourself every time. And you're like, you know what? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. No, thank you. It's the same situation if it's in a job sense and you've been going for that promotion, right? And there's competition. They might have promised it to you and now they're like opening up to opening it up to everybody and you're like, well, I don't know where I stand anymore. And then they're telling you and you're going through the interview, you're going through the process, you're going through their process. And then they're saying they're trying to use the fact that other people are going for it to get you to compromise on what you're willing to accept. They're like, oh, but so-and-so will take less money. Are you going to take less money? Or so-and-so is willing to do more hours. Do you want to do more hours? And you're saying, you know what? If I haven't proven myself to you, I'm not going to do that now. You make your choice. If you think that's the fair decision, if you think that's the fair choice, you do that. I know my worth. I know what I deserve. And if I don't get it here, I'm okay to go find it someplace else. You make the decision you think you need to make. Right? And then they're like, oh, yeah, you're the best candidate. Look, you won. And you're saying, you know what, if that's what I had to do to get you to acknowledge my worth, where we all know what I'm doing, right? We all know what I do. We all know how many hours I put in. We all know that you're paying me less than what you should be. And despite that, you still pushed it. That's disrespectful. And I'm not having it. Thank you. You keep your promotion. I don't know. Thank you. I'm actually, I've actually found something, something else already. So you're standing up for yourself, Aquarius, and good for you. This could be a situation where someone's telling you other people are competing for this to confuse you and make you feel like, oh crap, I have to do whatever I have to do. I have to accept whatever they're offering me because other people are going for this, so I might not get it. But then when you take a step back and you remember your worth, okay, you're like, you know what? No, I'm not going to bend over backwards. My work will speak for itself. You choose whatever you want to choose. I'm not going to play your games. I'm not ju jumping through hoops. I've put enough time, I've put enough resources into this, I have proven myself several times over. If that's still not enough, then I don't want this. End of story. That's going to shock the ish out of somebody, let me tell you. Because they think if they put the pressure on, you'll settle, you'll compromise, you'll say yes to whatever they put in front of you so that someone else doesn't take it. And you're like, no, give it to them then. I'm No, thank you. Mm-mm. This is what we discussed. This is what we agreed. I'm not going back on this. You shouldn't go back on this either. And if that's your approach to things, I can't trust you. I don't want to work with you. I am not interested in anything you have to offer because I, I can't trust it. With the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups, we have the Page of Pentacles. So this is about a job. This is about commitment for some of you. This is about someone's like holding 
they're, they're lording something over you. If you want this Aquarius, other people are competing for it. What are you going to do to get it? You know? What are you going to do extra for me to give you my time, for me to give you my attention, for me to give you my commitment, for me to give you this job or this opportunity or this promotion? Impress me, Aquarius. With the Temperance and the Nine of Cups, you have judgment. This is like the final straw for you. You're like, you steer seriously. After all this time, after everything I've given you, after everything I've shown you, after all the times I've proven myself, seriously? I'm not going to impress you. If I haven't impressed you already, I'm not interested. If I haven't proven myself to you already, I'm not interested. I don't care who else is going for it. You give it to them. And the Knight of Cups with the Fool, the Ace of Swords. I'm telling you, it's going to shock the hell out of this person. Because you're done. With the Fool and the Ace of Swords, you're like, I am done. I don't want this. I don't want it anymore. No, thank you. You can have it. You can give it to whoever. Under the Four of Swords, the Tower. Here's that shock and awe and the Ten of Swords. Because what they're doing is a betrayal. Because it's manipulation with the Magician. Page of Cups. It's just empty promises. The lover is trying to tempt you and just break in your heart. Just break in your heart. And it's been ongoing with the world card. It's just been ongoing. Okay? This is someone who thinks they're the best thing since sliced bread. Okay? They're convinced they have your heart. They're convinced they have your loyalty. They're convinced you're not going to leave. They can treat you any way they want you. They want to treat you. Okay? They, they keep making promises. They keep promising commitment to you. They keep promising that promotion. They keep promising that contract. And every time they don't deliver, it breaks your heart a little bit. But you keep going because they keep promising stuff or they keep explaining it to you. And this time around, I feel like you see through someone's BS. With the Magician and the Ten of Swords... You're like, are you seriously doing that? Are you seriously, is that what you want to do? Is that what you're saying to me right now? After everything, that is disrespectful. That is a betrayal. And they're sitting there smiling in your face like, oh no, that's just the process. And that really gets you to question everything with the Four of Swords. Take a step back, look at everything in perspective. And you're realizing that, you know what? I have given you more chances that I should have. I have given you more time than I should have. I have given you enough. I'm done. Final judgment, final decision, I'm done. And when this person sees you turning your back and they see that you're not going to play their games and try to impress them and try to compete with others for their attention or their time or their whatever, They'll be like, oh, they'll either say, oh, I was only kidding. Of course, I'll give it to you. Or they're like, they'll make a big deal and they're very like, it's like pompous arrival. Aquarius, look, I'm bestowing upon you this. <laughs> you know, and you're like, I don't, I don't want to do Thanks. No, no, thanks. I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of already out the door. I've, I've kind of already found something else. But thanks. But you give it to all them other people that were competing for it that you told me about. Oh my god, Aquarius, I'm loving this reading. I am loving this reading. Someone played the game, they took it too far, and it's blowing up in their face. What you're getting out of it is freedom, clarity of thought, clarity of your worth, your boundaries, empowerment. And you're not playing games. Let's get more information here for Aquarius on the situation and the chat and the outcome. Sorry. Bottom of the deck: head and heart. A card of conflict. It's like the lover's energy. Head and heart will sometimes fight, but who may judge which one is right? This is someone playing you because they knew they had something you really wanted 
and they have been playing on your heartstrings, pulling out your heartstrings, or making promises and saying things they know you want to hear to keep your heart in it, to keep you from going. What is happening now is that you're making a rational decision. You're putting your feelings aside because you're seeing the truth of the situation. And you're coming out of inner conflict with the Five of Wands and the Seven of Cups. That's confusion because of inner conflict. Because I want something, but it's not happening. And I don't know why. And I think I should walk away, but I don't want to. Because what if this happens? And that's what you've been doing. And it's the end of that. It's putting an end to that with the Judgment card. I'm not waiting for you to make this decision anymore. I'm making this decision. I'm not waiting for you to choose me anymore. I'm not doing it. I'm not playing them games. I'm not an option. And if you think I am, then you don't deserve me. End of story. And is that clarity? Okay? With the Five of Wands, the Seven of Cups, and the Page of Pentacles, we have the Moon, the Bowl, and the Purse. Yeah! So this is like quiet influence. This is behind the scenes. This is things that are whispered and promised, but they're never put on paper. With the Bowl, a card of diplomacy, you never know quite when to stop. Some truths are told, and some best not. This is someone playing games, this is someone manipulating, this is someone saying things they want you they they know you want to hear. Influencing, alluding at things with the bull and the moon, alluding at things, even promising you things, but then it's like, oh yeah, well, I went and talked to HR and I actually I can't do that. It's process. I have to do this other thing. But they led you on for as long as they could. And the purse, a card of concealment. Pandora's box is best left closed for who would have their secrets told. All revealed. You see this trickster for who they really are. You see this manipulator for who they really are. They've been breadcrumbing you. That's what this is. And you're not having it. Because they take it too far. They take it too far. To the point where you cannot question it anymore. You cannot doubt yourself anymore. Yes, what you're seeing is true. They are playing games. They are manipulating. They are taking advantage. They're taking a shot in the dark. See if they get away with stuff. And they took it. They, they take it so far to where it, it's, you can There's no second guessing it. It's just so clear that that's what they're doing. Which is why you're making the decision that you're making. With such confidence and peace of mind and heart. With the Knight of Cups, the Fool, and the Ace of Swords, we have the Flame, the Architect, and the Game. The Flame is a card of being. Feed the Flame and it will burn a star for its allotted term. This is where you're taking your power back. You're no longer feeding the situation. You're no longer feeding this person. With the Architect, this is a card of purpose. In the halls of mice and men, behind the scenes, you weave and spin a subtle web of endless span. This is where we take our power back and we become the architect in our own lives, okay? This is like the magician energy and the fool energy. I decide what I do. I decide what I invest in. I decide where I where I build and where I walk away from or what I walk away from. Bringing it back to you, it's card number one. And then the game, a card of risk. Dame Fortune wears a fickle face and gives and takes with equal grace. This is like the Wheel of Fortune with the Architect. This is like, I am now in charge of my own fate. I'm taking fate in my own hands, okay? I'm taking my career in my own hands, not yours. I'm not leaving it up to you anymore. I'm deciding, okay? I'm not leaving my love life in your hands. I'm not waiting for you to decide what you do with my heart and my love. I decide. And that's how you restore the balance in your life, Aquarius. That's how you get yourself unstuck. That's how you get yourself on the right path where you meet the right person, where you meet the right business partner, where you talk to the people who value you and treat you accordingly and are willing to compensate you fairly for what they're asking of you. And it's going to be a whole new cycle in your life with the emperor under the world. You're deciding you're in charge. You may be starting your own business. You decide you want to be single for a while and focus on yourself and love yourself. Or you decide... You want to move, you want to change your job, you want to change your career, it's up to you. Because now you're taking back the power in your own life and it's a beautiful thing. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there Aquarius. You tell me what this is about for you if you feel comfortable sharing, but I hope the reading helps you. Watch your other placements. Let me know, comment down below, okay? 
have a great week ahead and i'll see you in the next one. bye for now.